So your company has recently launched an electric bus, which is double decker bus, which has been a changer in the you know market. So what are your uh, what are you looking at for the future opportunities and future innovations in terms of electric buses? And how do you think the private market, which is 80% of the buses are private, so how do you think that the private market would be highly affected by this innovation? Yeah, uh, we are very proud at Switch Mobility because we were the first to launch uh, the electric double-decker with air-conditioned uh, in India. So it's a very significant step on technology innovation. I think uh, we have been talking about electric technology alone. Uh, how, how does it get applicated to bring in innovation to the society and the consumers is very important. If you look at double-decker, it, it's a need of the hour uh, in, the, in the cities. If you look at cities like Mumbai, the f the footprint is very important factor so if you look at double decker it can take about 86 percent more passengers uh, 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 it can reduce per passenger about 41 percent footprint and by increase of just 18 percent of weight That's so it's it. most efficient uh, way of uh, transporting people plus mm, double decker is also nostalgic to india and particularly mumbai if you look at it many of the childhood between the 60s and the 90s have uh, experienced the double deckers uh, and it's really uh, it's a emotional connect of the city uh, to the and very I'm very very happy and proud that we uh, we could able to bring that in an electrical version and then uh, it started with Mumbai we are uh, we are going to supply about 200 double deckers to Mumbai but uh, as we speak many other cities have already started uh, looking at double deckers I believe that most of the cities which have uh, uh, population high and as a footprint challenge will allow to convert to double deckers because it's the most economic way in public transport uh, when compared to a single deck bus. So uh, we talked about uh, sustainable development that you are you know, moving forward to the carbon footprint, reducing the carbon footprint. So uh, how far do you think, how much time would it take in the near future to convert you know, to convert, to reach the goal that we are discussing today for the Amrit Kal. We are, uh, you know, aiming at the 0% carbon footprints. How do you think, how much time would it take for India, for a country as huge as India, geographically, population-wise, to achieve that goal? I think as a country, Prime Minister has already said that we will be net zero by 2070. Uh, switch is committed, switch mobility is also committed uh, for net zero. We have already, uh, in our operations in Leeds, uh, UK, uh, we are net zero last financial year. We bought carbon credits, but going forward, we want to become uh, carbon neutral in all our operations, supply chain, delivery, and also uh, our uh, uh, the way in which operate uh, on a complete circular economy. So, if you look at Mumbai, Bangalore, for example, we are going to supply about 300 buses. We are aiming to achieve in the couple of years uh, uh, solar energy up above 80 percent. So uh, our factories carbon footprint have already been analyzed. So we are committed to ESG and particularly on uh, net zero uh, and we are working aggressively towards it. We are sure that we will be doing it much faster than a country as an, in, uh, as an industry to support countries' progress. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.